Good afternoon, football fans. It is about midday here at Fay and Oval in Warners Bay where the Clannyval Bombers have headed up north to the Lake Macquarie area to take on the Bulldogs at their home ground. 2017 saw these two teams play each other twice, Clowney Vale winning both times. The first here in Warners Bay winning 18-9, only scoring goals and the Bulldogs only scoring behinds. The second time was in the final round of the season, the Bombers also winning 73-20. That win gave them a spot in the finals in only their second year but were eliminated early by Gosford at Max McMahon Oval. That year saw a huge improvement in the Bombers women's team and hopefully that will continue onwards from this year. And I reckon the plate side are off already in the change rooms, ready to blast out the song after the 33 point win over the Bulldogs. So the highly hyped Bombers head north to Warners Bay to take on the Bulldogs in the first match of 2018. Bombers captain Ashley Page will be ready to captain the team onto a good season, but it is their depth of players that will make them a genuine threat. Down too long Here we go, round one. Good Woody. Good enough. Good enough. Got a little contest over there. Umpire's called a ball up, I think. Yeah, umpire calls a ball up. It's Ashley Page. And Oh no way. No way. Someone else in the ruck. Good tackle. Stephanie Water was down. Ashley Page kicks it out of the contest. Booth from the Bulldogs went over to soccer that. Crap. It's a good tackle there by Elizabeth Brown of the Bulldogs. Umpire's called a ball up, I think, yep. Umpire calls another ball up, the Beckford competes in the ruck. Megan Jenkins taps it down, gives a bump. Umpire's called a free kick to Elizabeth Brown, I think it is. Well, that was Caitlin Wolfe that had the ball then. Jenkins soccer's it the opposite direction. There's 27. Oh, there is no 27. Oh, whoops, a daisy. Taylor Thorne and Hannah Go competed for the ball there. Nice kick by Tash Gregory. Over to Jenkins. No, I need you to go away from me. Not ask me a thousand questions. Beth Wood runs for the ball, picks it up, has a bit of a run, nice kick. Now we've got a contest. Oh, could it be a mark? Yeah, it's a mark by Bethany Wood. But Georgia Butler has the ball. Georgia Butler with the ball goes for goal. Too easy. Too easy for Georgia Butler. The Bombers have played some pretty good footy in the two trial games they played last month against Auburn Penrith and the Western Wolves from the AFL Sydney Women's Comp. Please note this filming might be a bit shaky. And yeah, my apologies. It's umpire Foster with the ball again, ready to throw it back up to continue the game. After a good goal to start the bomber season off by Butler, Diane Crep was good in the ruck. Carmen Lennon. And who's that number? Go, Tyler! 
Greg jumped up pretty high there. Oh, look out. The Bulldogs responded quite quickly there after Georgia Butler's goal. It's Rachel Evans with the goal. Too easy by Rachel Evans. Scores are even now. Carnival had a good goal to start off the game, but Warner's Bay responded quite quickly. and Crep in the ruck. Tackle, oh, oh, Megan right, Jenkins right, has a good run there. Good court. Flat. Well Hamels to Gregory. Gregory good. kicks out of the contest over to No Man's Land. Picked up there oh. by Fogarty, I think. Crep handles out back to Fogarty. Kicks it out of the contest. Oh, this is their go. Got to go. Got to match them. This is their. Good Amy Pittman trying to keep the ball in her hands. Here she goes, Amy Pittman once Whoa! again. And it's a free kick to Ashley Flack, I think. Yep, Ashley Flack. It's a little grounder. And goes over to the doggies forward line. Bell Jenkins kicks it out over to Dawson, I think that is, Chelsea Dawson. Go score! Sky Bailey, she's got no one around her. Good tackle there by Georgia Butler. Sensational tackle. Kicks over to Dawson. Drops it. We've got a little contest there. Yeah, the ball is now back in the Bombers forward line. Umpire calls the ball up. I think that was Sims that competed in the ruck once again. Out to Kate Booth. Oh, number 99, Caitlin Wolf. Almost had that. Oh, Beth Wood. That would have been a good kick. <laughs> Out to Crep. I reckon the ball might slightly be falling. It's a free kick to the Bombers to Tash Gregory. Who's 33? Come up a bit. Up a bit. Yeah. Oh, oh, Pagey. Ashley Page. Kate Booth kicks it out of the contest again. Hannah Go and Taylor Thorne. Ashley Page. Oh, oh. Who's this? Oh, Tracy Baker shanks it. Tracy Baker shanks it a bit too far out to the left. No, if she got a goal, I reckon it would have 
sent the crowd here roaring. And it's a throw in to the Bulldogs. And it's behind. Sorry, it's gotta be you. Sorry. Start and you know what to do. Carmen Lennon, full back. Has the ball ready to kick it back into the game. Kind of our spectators and officials are not looking too happy here. They've beaten Warners Bay twice last year. And to lose to them in the first round, something they wouldn't really appreciate. It's another behind to Caitlin Booth, I think. Gotta go, Silver! Touch it. Fuck. Stay in. Oh, yes. And that was touched by Amy Pittman of the Bulldogs. Pick him up! Yeah, I reckon Pittman touched that. Still a throw in. Go and Thorne competed in the ruck quite well there. And it's out of the boundary once again. Kind of feels like I'm repeating these quotes all over again. And it's a throw in by Amy Pittman of the Bulldogs. Hannah Go attempted to kick that. Oh, it's hit the post. Hit the post. Kind of a really want this ball to go back into the forward line. They need to start staying in front of their players. <laughs> oh, he's this dying crep into the goals. It's a goal. It's a great goal to the Bulldogs. The lead is further increased. I reckon they'll go good this year. I believe it's two goals, three. And that goal was kicked by Diane Krep. Come on, Ninj, get into it. Come on, Ninj, work right. Come on, Silver. Come on, Blackie. Official runner for the Bombers, Murray Scuba, aka okay, Mars, giving them a bit of advice. Crep wins in the ruck again over Toka. And it's holding the ball. Free kick to the Bulldogs. To Wolf. That was too easy. I reckon this be another easy goal. 17, Tracy Baker. Bulldogs have kicked two consecutive goals. Kind of aren't looking too happy about this. Especially the, the spectators and the officials. They lead by three goals three, I believe. The scoreboard's quite a distance away from where I am. Yeah, it's Three goals, three, the Bulldogs lead, 21 to eight. Wolf kicks it out over to Jenkins. Picks it up, McDonald Stewart couldn't hold that. Oh, Shadow Grieve, umpire's called something, he's called free kick to the Bulldogs. It was a good goal they kicked in the first quarter, but I reckon they've slowly started to let the Bulldogs kick away. Started ball watching. And yeah, it's another goal to the Bulldogs. They lead 27 to 8. Kalani Vale's red hot start to get the first goal of the game has quickly started fading away. 
and started to let the Bulldogs I take there the lead. Run through us. I start there and run through. It's another three, four goals they'll have to kick to get that lead back. Crep and Toka death staring each other ready to compete in the ruck again. Umpire forced to kick the ball back to the other umpire. Name unknown. As he gets ready to toss the ball up. For the next ruck contest between Crep and Toka. Crep wins it again. Butler handles out to Jenkins. Out of the contest. Bump by a shadow grieve tackle. Might be in the back. No, it's a ball up by the umpire. Crep and Toka in the ruck again. I reckon Dian Crep is pretty good in the ruck for the Bulldogs. Jenkins soccers it out to Butler. Hambles to Toka. Toka kicks to Dawson. Page kicks out. Eslick. Good tackle there. Very good tackle by Tanika Eslick. It's a good chest mark there by Ashley Page. Well, will she make this goal? Let's hope she does so. She knows how to line it up nicely. She's played AFL for two years now for the Bombers. And I believe that is a behind. Yeah, it's a behind. Clowney Vale have scored 1-1-7. 4-3-27 It's a 20 point ball game Here at Van Oval Wood kicked it out and got She's copped a pretty big bump there It's a nice tackle there by Bethany Wood Pittman tosses it over to Wood. Wood kicks it nice and high. And it's a great mark there. He tapped all their hands and then took it in the chest. McDonald Stewart did. I reckon she could have gotten a goal if she took her time there. Almost find one! everyone accountable! Over to number 10. I think that's Rocco. Over to Butler. Here we go, Butler. Here we go. It's another behind. Megan Jenkins creating a bit of a vice. Good mark there by Johnston, I think it was. <laughs> Jenkins with the kick. Another kick back out for the Bulldogs. Who's that number eight? <laughs> McLaughlin. Out towards the far end of the ground. Out to the eastern side. Number 77 running pretty hard there. Good pressure. And I reckon the ball has gone out in the fall. Not too much longer left to go here in the final quarter. The Bulldogs have a pretty good lead ahead of the Bombers.
Yeah, I can know that should have been called a throw. Yeah, he's called it. He's called a throw. It's a free kick to McDonald Stewart. Go Bales, go Bales. Needs to take a time wisely. It's a great kick. Play oh, girl in front. Better Bales in front. And it's another free kick to the Bombers. And I think that's Sky Bailey over there. Sky Bailey with him. Hopefully another goal attempt. Another goal to the Bombers. So it's 2 3 15 to 4 3 27. The Bulldogs lead by two goals. How long, Mark? How long? Got about seconds remaining in the final quarter. Grieve decides to take on Crep, a much taller opponent. Umpire Forster chucks the ball up for another ruck contest. Crep drops it to Shade Grieve. To Wood. To Dawson. Dawson handles it out, and that's the end of the first quarter. I think that was loud enough. Hey, that's the best scoring ever, man. And that's now the end of the first quarter. Warners Bay 4 3 27 to Kalani Vale 2 3 15.